ABC 2 News at 530. Talk of revolution died down in York, Pennsylvania more than 200 years ago. That's right, but it is all the talk now. The York Revolution baseball team, that is. The American pastime is returning to the small Pennsylvania town. ABC 2 News Jeff Hager has more on the excitement surrounding tonight's inaugural game. Well, fans here in York, Pennsylvania have been waiting 38 years for the return of baseball, and tonight they'll hear the umpire cry out, play ball for the first time in four decades here at a brand new stadium. They said I'm roughly doing 35 seats a minute. At first, we thought he must be checking to ensure each seat worked properly. After all, with heavy equipment at the base of the outfield wall and workers still finishing up the roof at Sovereign Bank Stadium, it would have made sense. But 17-year-old Todd McCormick is on a personal mission, which defies reason. I'm trying to sit in all 5,000 seats uh, to bring good luck. It's, I've heard that if you can sit in all the seats before the first um, game in a new stadium, it'll bring luck to the team. The upstart York Revolution baseball team already represents a wave of good luck for a city starving for the sport since Orioles Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson made his professional debut here back in the 50s. He's set to throw out tonight's ceremonial first pitch. And the fact that as they're scurrying to stock up on soda pop, peanuts, and potato chips, as they still play ceiling tiles, stainless steel carts, and fresh sod, doesn't seem to bother the fan faithful who have waited this long. Planning has been 10 years. Construction, we've, uh, we're going to open this ballpark tonight after just seven months of construction, which is a really amazing schedule that we've come this far. We'll continue to finish the ballpark throughout the season. But then again, what's a little bit of dust for fans starving for the return of dirt base paths and a manicured outfield? Fans recapturing their zest for the game, one seed at a time. Yes, even before it takes the field here for the very first time, the home team revolution is already showing signs that it's won over its fans, selling more than 4,400 ticket packages to the first two games here alone. Reporting in York, Pennsylvania, Jeff Hager, ABC2 News.